As you know that we are discussing the syntactic properties of language and our focus is English language and we are telling about you that what is the pure Chomsky concept within our video within our lecture and if you are new in our channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics. In this video I am going to tell you that what is the initial, what is the primitive, what is the first model of language that Chomsky has presented to us. And in the previous video, we have already discussed in detail all these things. And this model is called the Government and Binding Theory presented by Noam Chomsky. This is the basic model of Noam Chomsky. And oh, what are the core things in this model? We have already discussed all these things in detail. And if you want to know about the uh, the free structure rules, you can click over the link and you can watch our video. And if you can, if you want to know about the subcategorization frame, if you want to know the elementary trees, you can click over the link and you can know what is the free structure rule and what are the subcategorization frame and what are the elementary trees and see what is the first model presented by Noam Chomsky and in Chomsky in frame Chomsky has stated that at this level we have we have come at this level the there are the lexicon what is lexicon lexicon basically the storehouse of that particular language words in this storehouse we have the word of that particular language if we are living in society where the language of speaking is Urdu language our lexicon will be filled with the atoms of Urdu language because the language specific variety properties are encoded within the lexicon and the second module is the PS rule phrase structure rule we have certain rules that are the phrase structure rule and we have constructed the universal entities this is the x bar theory this is the x bar theory and if we apply x bar theory it will become our phrase structure rule and if we want to draw a sentence how we can generate a sentence if we apply this mechanism on the every sentence see our the mechanism is that we have the x bar theory the rules x bar theory consists of the rules we have discussed in detail the previous video that what are the x bar theory and what are the elementary trees and what are the elementary trees what are the subcategorization frame and in this portion the human mind takes the item of that particular language and after that we will apply on that word the rule and we will draw some abstract structure that is called the d structure the derived structure at this structure we have the placement of certain words and they are the word will become at certain places and after d structure we will apply the movement rule that are the displacement property of the language and we will if we will apply the movement rule and after that we will construct the s structure of that particular language and that will become our pure sentence that will be our natural sentence and what sent the natural sentence natural sentence is that that what I am speaking and what you are speak, speaking in their society, in your home, in your working place, that are yeah, the concrete sentences. The S structure means the sentences. What the sentences are? The sentences are that what we are speaking, they are sentences. That will become our sentences in the in the part of the language. See, this is the lexicon. And in lexicon we have the words. V I inflection means the inflection past tense, uh, present tense, future tense, these are the inflection property. P is the end, linear, 
but in in every language we have these items these are the common items in the language and the first phase we will construct the d structure what is the d structure in the d structure we if we will apply the x bar rules our structure will be just like this because the requirement of this word is that it needs two entries one is the things that is being eaten and the second is the eater that is performing the process of eating and we have the two NP and our structure will be the VP this is our D structure and this diagram will fulfill the X bar rules here V is the head it it construct V bar and it V takes and P as a complement and after that it is spread and it takes and P as a specified position because the requirement of this verb is taking of the two NPs and here we have the one NP and we have the one NP this is our D structure and after that D structure we will have to construct convert this structure into the S structure and for constructing the D structure into S structure we will have to apply the certain rules and these are the movement rules and for the movement rule we have another inflection that is the tense inflection and here we have the tense inflection that is the present tense and we have the I inflection. What is the requirement of I? The requirement of I is it must take specified at any cost because the elementary tree of inflection will be represented in the lexicon just like this because the requirement of IP is that it must take the specified position filled for this we have the two NPs and in this structure one NP will move and if this NP will move it will fulfill our movement rules and it will fulfill our displacement properties if this the man here a displacement the man will move and it will be at the specified position of IP in this level we will draw the fully grammatical structure and our sentence will be the man eats the pizza this is the S structure because if we apply the displacement rule after that we will construct the D structure and if we construct this structure this structure will be our the D structure this is the derived structure and after that we will have to convert this structure into S structure for converting the S structure we need the grammatical categories and what are the grammatical categories the grammatical categories is here the inflection S because this S cannot exist independently this S needs some phono some word to attach and it attaches in English language with the verb and it will become the ears and our sentence will be the man eats the pizza this is our fully grammatical sentence and we can say that our model GBT by Chomsky construct the grammatical sentence and if we take the verb that is that did not take any NP we can say that this slot will not be filled and we can say that our rule is our three for the reaction will be fulfilled and if we say that we don't have any NP we can say that our rule will be fulfilled that is one projection head projection intermediate projection and maximal projection and if this V will take the NP as a complement we can project the complement if this verb did not take any complement 
and we cannot make this node and after that our structure will be that three projections this model of gp theory constructs all and only grammatical sentences this is our fully grammatical model and we have constructed that every human being every individual has potential to generate all and only grammatical sentences and our model is also generating the fully grammatical sentences and if we apply this model to generate the grammatical sentences and this model will fulfill all these things all the rules all the set principles we have created in our previous videos thank you very much and if you want to know more about language and linguistics please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon